originally, actually, I wasn't even there when they made the discovery. I was 700 miles away somewhere else in Antarctica doing some work on a ship at the same time. And the people who made the discovery didn't really know what they discovered because they were geologists. They came back to the UK and months later were telling me about it over a tea break. And they said, do you want to see the video? And they showed us the video. And that was when we went, oh, hang on. Well, where was this? And they said, oh, it's 260 kilometers back from the front of the ice. So we're like, oh, well, what we found there shouldn't be there. So from the video, which is only sort of 30 seconds long of what we see of the rock. So it's really hard. You have to frame by frame look at it. We know that there are, there's at least one type of animal on there that's a stalked sponge. So it's almost like a wine glass shape with a long stem and it looks exactly like a stalked sponge, probably a glass sponge, which are made of silica, which is sort of, it's the same sort of thing that sand is made out of. So it's, they build their skeletons out of that. And it's very white, this one, so it's easy to spot against the background. And then when the camera actually hits the rock, it hits a bit that looks like it's covered in a bit of dirt but when it gets really close, it literally the lens bumping into the rock, there are lots of little tiny filaments, which could be a bacterial mat or hydroids or any of those other things that kind of grow just as tiny little strands. We really don't know what most of the animals living on the rock definitely are, but we know there are some sponges and there are two types of sponges, at least one that looks like this wine glass shape and another one that's just a kind of lump of sponge on the rock. The problem is that this ice shelf is so huge. It's massive. So this 260 kilometers is the shortest distance you can go. And no vehicles that we have at the moment could just be sent off for 260 kilometers blind under an ice shelf because they wouldn't be able to communicate with us through the ice as well. So another option is to send things down a borehole like we sent the camera down, but those boreholes aren't very big. So the equipment we have at the moment that can do that kind of collection work safely really at its limits if you try to miniaturize it down that small we have some things that can go down but they can't do all the robotics and things that you'd want to be able to do to delicately sample something but actually physically damaging these animals would be crazy they may have taken hundreds of years to grow or in the case of some antarctic sponges there are some that are have been carbon dated to be about 15,000 years old. So we don't know if these are things that have popped up a few months ago or things that have been there for a very long time. So we have to take it slow and treat them with a bit of respect. So hopefully there's enough scientists wanting to go back to a similar place and all work together that we'll be able to pull something together to understand the whole ecosystem.